imitation really is the sincerest form of flattery, then somewhere out there Van Diesel is blushing a rosy shade of pink. Need for Speed Payback desperately wants to be fast and furious, with its storyline centering around the same sort of vehicular sting and knockabout camaraderie that has kept Van and his ever-expanding band of chums riding high at the box office. In reality, Payback's effort at telling a compelling car crime story is cheesier than a gallon of fondue. The game set in a Las Vegas-style casino town called Fortune City. So naturally the baddies are called the house and everyone speaks in tortured gambling analogies. The lead protagonist, a Paul Walker action figure called Tyler, is smug and unlikable. The plot is some nonsense about experimental technology hidden in a Koenigsegg Grigera and not once did a bald man in a vest perform a torpedo headbutt on a moving cargo plane. It's like they're not even trying. But none of this matters, because ignore the story and this is the best Need for Speed game in an age. Payback plays like a greatest hits compilation of the post-underground Need for Speed series. There's the drag racing in there from 2003's Underground, the police chases and vehicular takedowns from 2010's Hot Pursuit and the extensive customization options from 2015's otherwise unremarkable series reboot. Frankly. We're amazed it's not called now that's what I call need for speed, 